Hello everybody. Yet another day of rain. It just seems to never end. Rain, rain. Goes away, then just comes back the next day. Well anyway, let's get to the bench and uh, have a little play around with a magnetometer. Okay guys, so we've got some satellites connected now. We're going to save navigation. And what we're going to do now is we're going to just do a, a calibration of the compass here. Now there's two, two, two parts to this. The first part is to calibrate the compass here. And then you save and reboot. And the second part is to go into the configuration and make sure you've got the correct magnetometer alignment. Now I'm just going to set mine back to default. And reboot the system. Put my thumb over the back of the beeper. It's very loud. Now we're going to go to the calibration. Okay. So with the calibration, when you click this button here, it's calibrate compass. You get 30 seconds. Okay, so in that time, you want to try and turn the craft round in all directions. Do it smooth as smoothly as you can. Okay, all you can do is emphasize that. Do it as smoothly as you can. You can't expect it to be perfect, complete, Mr. Smooth, but you try and do, just try and do it as smoothly as you can. So let's go. So now I've got my 30 seconds. I'm just going to turn that around. I'm going to take it from the best as I can and turn this around. I'm now going to turn it around from side to side. I'm going to put it nose down. And just turn this around like this. I'm going to do the same the other way around. And I'm also going to turn it around like a bit of a star like this. Okay. So there we go. We got our numbers. That is now just saved, um, but we do need to save it to the flight controller and to reboot. So we're going to do a save and reboot. I'm going to put my thumb just behind this to help prevent some of that loud noise. Okay, okay, that's probably going to. There we go. Okay, so now we've got our numbers in here, and that's good. They're all different numbers, which is good to see on the XYC axis. Now we're going to go into configuration. Oh, let's just have a quick little look and I'll show you first. So let me just reset the Z axis. Now, if I go to the left, you can see we've got a little bit of drift off there as it turns itself back. And if I go to the right, whoa. Now there's a lot of drift off there, now that's not good, not good at all. Considering we're supposed to have ten, nine, um, nine satellites on. Let's go forward, again, that is not good at all. You can see how that can turn out to be a nightmare if we're up in the sky and we try to, uh, to return to home and pitch forward. We're going to be going the other way around, look. That's, a, that's not good, that's... Uh, that's flyaway material. Okay, so remember there was that second part of this alignment. So let's go into the configuration. Let's go down page to the board and sensor alignment. And look down until you see the magnetometer alignment, mag alignment. Now I already know what mine is. But let's just say we're going to go through and we're going to find out individually. I'm not going to go through this whole lot with you, but I'm just going to pick one at random now. We're going to go for the CW 180 degrees. Do a save and reboot. Put my thumb behind the buzzer to keep it a bit quieter. Okay, and then we... Oh dear. Let me just get the radio. Now let's go back to the setup so we can see ourselves here. Now, if I go to the left... As you can see, that's not good at all. Again, we've got way too much drift. In actual fact, we're facing the wrong direction anyway, so let's just turn that around. Um, 
we go that way this time we're going in the opposite direction you see we're, we're turning to the right this time instead of to the left and this way we're going to the left so this is no good at all this is worse in fact than the default but still both of these the way this is set up with this calibration is going to get you into a lot of trouble if you're out there so let's go back to the configuration and now we're going to go to what I know is the correct one for this particular compass and that's CW270 flip and I'm using a U-Box compass it's the MN8 or no sorry the M8N um, I'm actually going to put this because uh, I'm in Europe I'm just going to put on zero it's going to make no difference to this um, but this the 270 flip will so let's just reboot that now put my thumb behind the buzzer again just to keep that a bit quieter because it's very noisy but as it's my last model alarm buzzer oh dear sorry about that <laughs> as it's the last model um, lost model alarm buzzer so let's go back to the setup let's just reset the z axis now this time uh, when we go to our left we go to the left and we hold steady we'll bank to the right we go to the right and we hold steady we can turn in into a dive and we'll hold steady the full front pitch that would pitch again look steady as a rock and that's exactly what you want now we can turn to north and we can do the same thing and we're holding steady it's moving slightly on the degrees on the heading there because you know I'm moving it slightly but that's good enough we're not actually drifting around anywhere or doing anything to and toward and so we can say that that's happy that isn't the correct magnetometer alignment and a good thing about this as well is like even though I'm doing this on the bench and so you know this could be I've got a computer underneath the desk uh, which is going to be giving out all sorts of noises even down to the screen you know switch mode power supplies about the place and the, the camera even is going to be causing some noises so what we can do is if when I take it out which hopefully is going to be very very soon indeed let's just push this here for a second when I take it out it, let's say if I try a position hold and it is um, toilet bowling then I can bring it back in just flick it into a manual mode like um, just take it out of an auto mode position hold or return to home get it back into like a manual horizon mode would be fine or even angle mode would be fine but as long as you're not in one of those autopilot modes you'll take control of that and then we can just use our sticks and we can push this stick up to the right and pull this stick down and that is now giving us the opportunity again to do a, a compass <laughs> calibration and in a moment you'll hear it and it will let us know after that 30 seconds that we had before that we've completed that calibration and um, we'll then see if it works for us any better or not but this is the sort of thing you can do out in the field you see when you can do this out in the field there we go so that's our 30 seconds up which means I can actually do it in the areas that I want to be flying so every time that you go out you could actually do this now if you notice let's see what this is like now oh we've got to do a bit of a save and reboot actually let's not forget that uh, I'm just going to put it to the calibration page it makes no difference we can look back at the video to see if the numbers have changed I expect they would have done let me put my finger behind there just because it's like very noisy there we go so you can see the numbers have changed now let's have a look at a little look at the setup that's just telling us we've got enough satellites to be flying now again if I go to the left doesn't seem to be too bad 
If I go to the right, it doesn't seem to be too bad. It's probably not as good a calibration as what we did before, so I wasn't as smooth with this one. And having it smooth will help. It will help. We're going to put it to north. Or, oh, you know, it's close to zero degrees there. See if it drifts off anywhere. Not really. Let's just drop it over there. Not really. So we can say that that's calibrated again. And there shouldn't really be too many problems. But that is one good thing about it. Is if you are out in the field. If you have got a bit of toilet bowl in. It is quite easy like I said. To push that um, throttle stick up to the top right. And then bring your pitch stick down to centre bottom. And you can get another 30 second calibration. Away from computers. Away from screens. Away from phones. Away from everything. And, uh, and then just put it up in the air again. And try it. Try your position hold. And if you get a tighter uh, position hold, then you know you, you get in there. Okay, guys, that's it for this one. Um, I hope that um, that's just taking you a little bit through that calibration. And um, that's been easy enough to understand. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next one.